On Friday, the 21st of November 2014, the curtain was raised at the ETER construction site for the celebration of yet another milestone. After one and a half years of construction, the workshop for the ETER cryostat was officially inaugurated by Larson & Tubros President Madukar Vinayak Kotwal, ETER Director General Osamu Motojima, and Benoit Moncad, Director General of Spi Batignol, in charge of building the football field-sized structure. Yeah. Bravo. Within this vast workshop, the components of the world's largest high vacuum pressure chamber will be assembled. 54 cryostat modules will be shipped from the manufacturing shop at Larsen and Tubro in India for assembly into four large sections. Good morning. Your presence today, Mr. Katwal, is a great honor for ETA. You are a strategic and successful partner in our unique international venture. Indeed, it's a great day for us, not only for Larsen and Tobro, but for India, to have made this beginning of the contribution to this major ETER project. The way we look at it, what we do today is a small contribution to something which is going to be a game changer in the field of energy. I'm very much honored to be here, present with all of you for the inauguration of the Cryostat Temporary Workshop. This building has been handed over last 29th of August to our client Larson & Tubro after 14 months of construction work. The cryostat forms the vacuum-tight containers surrounding the ETER vacuum vessel and the superconducting magnets and acts essentially as a very large refrigerator. Made of stainless steel, it has overall dimensions of 30 meters in diameter and almost the same in height. The cryostat will weigh in at more than 3,800 tons. The cryostat will be manufactured by the Heavy Engineering Division of Larsen & Tubro at its Azira plant in western India. It will be dispatched in 54 modules to the ITER site in Katarash. The modules will be pre-assembled in the on-site cryostat workshop and then transported to the Tokamak pit, where they will be welded together. Once completed, the cryostat sections will be moved by rails to the adjacent assembly cleaning facility and from there, transported and lowered into the tokamak pit. Yeah.